the workday function in Excel allows you to see when the next working day will be based on a date and how far forward you want to go. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the workday function and what you'll see is it asks for start dates. So I'm going to say look at that cell there and I'm just going to go, say go one day later. So all we want to know is when is the next work day. So obviously when we're on a Friday, depending on your country, the next work day will be a Monday. It also allows for holidays, which means I can give it a list of holidays. I'm just going to put my dollar sign here and it will take that into account. So this function assumes that Saturday, Sunday are off days. So work days Monday to Friday, excluding any public holidays. So when I say OK, you'll see that it tells us that on the 2nd of January, which is a Friday, the next work day is the 5th of January. And if we copy it down, you'll see on the Saturday it says the same thing, the Sunday it says the same thing. Once we're on a Monday, then obviously that flows. And you'll notice over here, on the 13th of January, it's a Tuesday, it's telling us the next workday is the 14th, but the next day, it suddenly jumps to the 16th. And that's because we've got a, a holiday on the 15th of January. So this can be very useful, especially if you, for example, get invoices that have a date and you have to pay 30 days later on the next work day. So this function works if you're in a country where a Saturday and a Sunday are seen as weekends. There is another function in the more recent versions of Excel called Workday.intl International, which allows you to control what is seen as a weekend. Now in this case the function wizard doesn't really give you all the options that are available. So I'm just going to type it in here. So you'll see you've got Workday and Workday International. When I click on it, the first thing it says is where's the start date? I'm going to point at that cell there. Put a comma. It asks how many days. I'm going to put a one. And when I put the next comma, you'll see we get a drop down list. So by default, a weekend is assumed to be Saturday and Sunday. But you can see we've got every possible option. So perhaps our weekends are a Friday, Saturday. Or, and notice that you've got options for one day weekends. So Sunday only, Monday only, etc. So perhaps if we're in another country, Friday, Saturday is a weekend. But if we're in a different industry, perhaps the restaurant business, a Monday is when we're actually off. So you'd actually use this to work at when is your next working day. But let's use Friday and Saturday. Again, it asks for holidays. I can highlight the same area. I just put my dollar signs on and close it. And when I now copy it down, you'll see it now tells me when the next work days are. And it's slightly different because these use Friday, Saturday as weekends. This use Saturday, Sunday.